it's an invasion of spotted lanternflies. The insect is almost impossible to escape, swarming those brave enough to venture outside and littering the ground after. A new project is dedicated to learning more about them and creating a historical record of their movement. This is really interesting, and it's headed by Dr. Michelle Duenas of St. Vincent College and Dr. Al McDonald at Chatham University. Thank you both for joining us. And, and you uh, brought some friends with you. I did, yeah. <laughs> I brought some living ones and some dead ones for display. <laughs> Just to like show a little demo of the kits that we are mailing out to people if they want to participate in the study. Um, this is what we're mailing out. And then this is actually samples I'm participating. These are samples I collected from my yard for the survey this year. So. so your background for both of you, what is it and what drew you to the behavior of the spotted lanternfly? Uh, I'll go. I'll go first. Oh, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm by training. I'm an entomologist. My main study area is actually bumblebees. Um, but um, these kind of literally landed in my lap. Yeah, in everybody's <laughs> lap. Yeah, in everyone's <laughs> lap. Living here in Pittsburgh. Um, and so I, I had a student that wanted to do a genetics project. Um, genetics, insects, and genetics is my background. And so. Um, her name was uh, Claire Mulcahy, she's now graduated, and I was like, well, there's going to be all these bugs. We won't have any hard time finding samples, so let's try that. Yeah. And then we realized through her project, because we solicited um, people from the public to collect for us, that there was like a real, really big interest in trying to help contribute to research locally. And so I kind of turned Claire's project into like a test project to see if this was feasible, yeah. and then Al and I met playing roller derby. And discovered <laughs> Which is so interesting. <laughs> I love that part of the story, too. So, Dr. McDonald, tell me about your side of this at Chatham University and why you're so interested in them. Well, so I am a biochemist. I am not an entomologist. Um, that is all Michelle. <laughs> I have actually never been interested in bugs in this way before. But spotted lanternflies were a menace last semester, well, last year and we were actively helping uh, Michelle by collecting a lot of spotted lanternflies for your student, yeah, Claire. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I have been wanting to create a new biochemistry lab for Chatham uh, that coincides with my class. And one really cool thing about these bugs in particular is that you can do a lot of the biochemical assays that I want to teach my students using the bugs. So tell me what you all have learned so far. Is there anything, I mean, I know this is an ongoing study and research, but have you learned anything yet? So with Claire's project last year that Al students collected samples for, we found that um, they, are, they are genetically diverse um, and they have lots of gene flow and mating with each other. And when we first got the genetic data back, and, and this was just a really small study, so yeah. we're not gonna be able to publish it, but we wanted to see what kind of data we could collect from them. And I was like, you know, Claire, I work on endangered species of bumblebees, and this is exactly the kind of di genetic diversity you would wanna see in something you're trying to conserve, is that they're really genetically diverse and they're <laughs> mating with each other all the time. Um, all the time. But mm -hmm. of course, this isn't something we really want here. So that, that was one of the things that we found, but we're hoping to do and branch out into more biochemical studies of that might help us learn more about what they're getting from their plants, um, and then also ultimately find ways to control them in ways that don't also hurt, hurt the ecosystem. I think mm -hmm. that the hard part, and you saw this at Chatham University, I'm sure, the hard part about it is that it's not just a, a few of them that are, that are hanging out. I mean, when they find a good spot that they like, like the side of one of the downtown buildings, which is so bizarre to me, but they just gravitate to it. And there are hundreds, if not thousands of them then in that particular location. So it's a, it's a lot, I think. It's, yeah, yeah, and it also means it's really easy to collect them. I, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> your side things, right? I wanted to bring some live guests on the show today, so Did I grabbed these before I came here, and then we were walking into the building. I was like, I could have just grabbed yeah. them off yeah. of the KDK yeah. ba building. It's right here. Because right. of how plentiful they are, it's why it's perfect for citizen science. Yeah. It's why we're able to get people in the community to help us. And so let's talk about this before we have to wrap here. So this, mm -hmm. you mentioned this is what you would send out to people who want to participate. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. And what, are, are you supposed to collect live? Yes. On a live? So we are asking are we? people to collect them oh. live. Oh, okay. there we go. <laughs> Who's jumping around? Thanks for doing a little dance for us. So we're asking them to collect <laughs> them live. Um, they're, they can't hurt you. Uh, they're you do have, you. they're a little tricky to grab. You can grab like a large jar like this and cup them over it. And then um, put the, we will mail you this kit, you put them into the tube, 
and then you'll fill the tube with rubbing alcohol to preserve the DNA. And then um, once you have your 10 males and 10 females and there's instructions on identifying them in the kit, then we'll have drop-off locations all throughout Westmoreland and Allegheny County where we'll collect the samples. It's fascinating and I want to have you both back once we have a little bit more information from how the study goes and what you guys are able to find from it. Thank you both so much for coming on today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank so you. fascinating. <laughs> you're doing the work for us. <laughs> we're just out here squashing them. If you're interested in applying to become a citizen science partner, we're going to have the link on our website at kdka.com slash talk Pittsburgh.